Hi there, my name is Michael Doe, and I'm a PhD student here at Deakin University. I'm also part of the Cognitive Neuroscience Labs. We've got some pretty cool equipment, and I'd like to take you on a bit of a tour. Hi, my name is Professor Nicole Reinhardt here at the Deakin Child Study Centre. We're looking at ways that we can improve the diagnosis and treatment of children with autism. Hi, I'm Dr Melissa Hayden and I do cognitive neuroscience research looking at um, obese individuals both in pregnancy and just in the general population and I use this piece of equipment, the EEG, to look at the electrical brain signals and how the brain processes different information. Hi, I'm Alan Pearce in the Cognitive Neuroscience Unit. One of the techniques that we use here is known as transcranial magnetic stimulation. This allows us to look at the biology of the brain, in particular how nerve cells talk to each other. Hello, my name's Dr Jared Lum and welcome to our eye tracking lab. What the eye tracker is able to do is it's going to place, show some pictures and what it's going to do is then play back where I was looking during the picture of a horse and a dog. When we uh, think about and make decisions, we look at uh, changes that occur in the brain from the gas exchange. One way we can measure this is using a, a very specialised technique known as functional near infrared spectroscopy, or FNERS, as what we, we, like, we like to call it in the uh, industry. So we have a number of channels here with the FNERS, and these go across the forehead and how they measure is looking at the changes with oxygen and carbon dioxide. And when someone is thinking about doing a, a task or they're actually doing the task itself, it can measure these changes right across the forehead or another part of the head depending on what we're trying to aim to uh, achieve. My name is Associate Professor Peter Enticott. I use repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation, or RTMS, to investigate how the brain works, but also to develop new treatments for conditions like autism. Hi, my name is Dr Christian Hyde. I'm a researcher and lecturer in the Cognitive Neuroscience Unit. Uh, my research involves investigating the neurocognitive basis of motor control uh, and motor development. Uh, amongst the many measures that we use in our research, one of those is uh, gait analysis. So in other words, uh, walking analysis. Uh, and we're going to use Ian here to show you an example of that. So thanks for coming along on the tour, and that's just some of the equipment that you could be using if you're a student at Deakin University.